and just like that we're back to uh the harsh realities of reselling there's no harsh realities we're going picking <laughs> uh we just got back from the we well, haven't just got we got back from the reseller summit yesterday it is monday morn i don't know when this is going out but it's monday morning now and um we had traveled to wellington which is a bit out of the way but we wanted to mix it up a bit and we'll see what we can find come with us join us oh, i used to watch disney vlogs all the time when we go to disneyland i used to watch um disney vloggers who take you around the parks i know i know and um there was one that always said join us will you and it makes me think of that when i say it. anyway join us will you we're we'll going pick him what should we find manifest for us manifest even though it's already happened you can manifest look austin's here he is this it's not just me there are two people in this partnership of thrifting <laughs> would you know I wouldn't know. Wellington, give us your lowdown of what you think Wellington is going to be like. W Town holding it down. Um, I don't know. Um, the, 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 I think we've only been here once before. And it was really good. And I know there's another lady that first here because she messaged me. Um, so I don't want to like get up on her turf. But at the same time, totes, on, on, the turf. totes on the turf. Uh, apologies for turfing you. Um, no, I th actually, I think it was really good. There's quite a few as well. Like as in, it's quite a small location. It's not too far to walk. There's not like a thousand miles between them all. So. Let's see what we can find, huh? On the reseller summit, come down. I, I'm totally not like. on the come down though. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. Motivated, you know, inspired. Do you know what I was going to say? Three stop. Yeah. When we did, um, when we did um, the Poshmark event, it was really, really cool. But I feel like we had a lot of we were speaking with a lot of different people. And it was more about just business, business, business. Because I found there was a lot more kind of friendship, a lot more kind of like. I don't know, um, I feel like I made friends as opposed to whether we, um, with the posh park, as early as it was, we had a lot of friends there, it was more just based, business based, mm, yeah. you know what I mean? So you kind of, you kind of mix of both, but um, we'll do a video on that anyway, I'm sure. My hair, I look like a 1980s like action star, but like a I man like one. Who is 80. Like I can get like called Ice or Blade or I something. Take action. Anyway, let's go. To enter the charity shop, you he must first defeat first. the door lord <laughs> I like it. that's like the end of the end, end of the level character that guy end of the but, level but, but he just did but he just like totally just went for a button and decided no, to leave anyway he's just the gatekeeper you know when mario rescues daisy mm -hmm. and you have to just unlock the gate that's the guy you, you don't have to really do anything with him you just have a chat you know oh i see what you're saying yeah like, i don't think he, he's not bowser like... or anything no 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 okay. no anywho no, no, no. enough of the gaming talk um, Wellington, welcome to Wellington. That's my hand. This shop was eclectic. Now, I know eclectic. we are... Eclectic, yeah, it was actually. The luxury pickers. Um, people sometimes are surprised to know that we do pick up other things um, because uh, when you go to charity shops, um, the last time I looked, they weren't just fully decked out in Yves Laurent and Christian Dior. You have no, to, you know... that is true. Um, you have to, not adapt, but you have to add a little spice of life in, otherwise it gets very tedious. And at the moment, I'm finding personally that the shops aren't dry, but they're... What's the word? Slim um, pickings. Slim pickings. So we've been uh, we've been dabbling no. in some things just for fun. It's for fun, okay? Yeah. I, I just, otherwise, it's just boring. Like if they if they only picking like one or two items up per shop, like we like to get a lot when we're out. I know we we pick a lot, but I, I like to get like multiple items in every single store. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a bit like meh. Um. So sometimes, oh, that's the edge of my coat. Um. Sometimes, oh, come on. I know, but I you otherwise this you won't guy. see this glorious thing you pick up. So this is a Western belt by a brand called Leo Elsa. It's Elsa. vintage. Elsa. It's leather. It's studded. It's cowboy esque. It's Western esque. Look at the studs on it's that. It's tasseled. It's suede. So you could wear it's... this nowadays as either an under chest, chest uh, like corset. You see the shape. So you could have it, yeah. Or, or it's designed actually to be worn like the other way around, and you have the tassel down the front. I think, but it's multifunctional then from that perspective. Nineteen seventies. It is, I believe. Uh, suede leather. And it's pretty cool. It's a cool thing. Um, and we find things like that sell really well, especially Western themed things. Uh, at the moment, like the whole Western vibe, especially when it comes to belts and like, like um, what's the word? Uh, tool, they call them. Yes. Uh, belts are very in. And this is Bethany, <laughs> speaking of randomness, with a pink... Uh, 80s Sony digital clock radio. I'm not going to lie. Once again, it's pink. I like wet myself when I saw this. This would have been my dream so, clock radio. So just to clarify, right? When Bethany mugs me off for anything we, I pick no up... Way. No No, no, it's no, pink. no. Roll it back. 
I get mugged off for touching anything ever which it's isn't pink. clothing, right? And you come to me with a clock radio. It's pink. I'm not saying it's not cool, and I know it's pink, but you've said that multiple times. But I'm just saying, Austin. I am just saying, Austin. give me a freaking break. Austin, that is nostalgic bomb. That could be in any 1980s chick flick. It could be in any now movie that's like, re- that could be in Stranger Things. You wouldn't uh, even bat an eyelid. I would say, you can hear that. Uh, 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 and it's then pink. someone smashes their hand on it to stop it. It's pink. Because they're angry at to wake up but it's not just pink it's bubblegum damn pink. you I'm it's, so angry at 7 o'clock in the morning I've got to wake up baby D damn damn it's the damn. most perfect pink I've ever seen yeah and I don't look in the electrical sections but it was pink that's why that's it looks like it's in like 16 candles or it, something it does it's have so... does have its manual uh, we'll go back to the clock radio uh, this is a pretty green we don't normally pick up pretty gritty green we don't pick green. it up at all Anymore? No, unless it's like the proper Liam Gallagher coach, you know, the big like Parker Max. However, this was five pounds and it's paisley all over. It's huge, it's heavy, it's a zip up, it's got multiple details and it's, I think if it's not new last, season, it's last it's, season. It's last season. Yeah. So it just came out of sale now. Um, so I've listed that one for 45 and that it should get it. Um, however, can we go back to the, I, I can we go, I had not That's such a random load of stuff. Um, the pit is pink, right, okay. So there wasn't very many listed and there was a few listed it, it used, in America it was called the Dream Maker <laughs> but in the UK it's called a Digi Max or something boring just Digi Max oh, they used to that with like uh, games consoles and stuff and the, the, the British versions were always so lame but um, Sega Genesis we had the Mega Drive and the cream ones that are the main ones they only go for like 25 30 I'm telling you now I'm going to apply my laws of physics my pricing physics onto that I'm and I'm going to price physics. it purely based on colour Okay, so you price it whatever you fancy and we'll see how that goes. I, I'm going to test it. They pay £7 for it, by the way. These are great. Almost new black kin, wide leg cropped jeans in a size, what? 20. But they're a generous 20. They're like an oversized 20. And to get an oversized 20 is You're quite a Do you know why? Because uh, pl- the plus size market is hugely underrepresented both online and... Uh, in store and in charity shops. However, if I see any more Joanna Hope in the plus cent twenty section, I'm literally going to write a letter to Joanna Hope and say, "Stop it!" Like it, no one should, no one should, no one should trash. I'm going to make a statement. <laughs> Just because you are a plus size lady does not mean you want to wear a, a moo-moo. large. I was just going to say a large floral dress, like. Come I know, on. I know. We can wear contemporary it, clothes. It's not. It's not illegal, you uh, know. Uh, well, officially, apparently. When you're of a certain size, there's no way at all you can be remotely fashionable, relevant, or you know have any kind of any kind of reference to fashion yes. because apparently that's just a law. Anyway, they were a size. I'm not blaming Joanna Hope personally for that. I'd like to mention, but she can, as as I've been quoted multiple times since the summit, bite me. Um, they were three pounds seventy five, I believe, and I'm going to listen for thirty five to forty. Kin's not cheap either, is it? I know it's a John Lewis it's brand, but it's cheap, not cheap at all to buy new. But the resale market is really good as well. This was mint velvet, and I would have considered it because it had cashmere content and a star. I like when mint velvet has stars. It seems to sell really quickly. However, there was a hole in the shoulder. Just like religious people, it was holy. Just saying. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going to go with that then. I was like, don't talk about politics or religion. No, politics but, or religion. Oh, but that was cool. funny, yes. Um, these are custom made, not actually custom made. They're a brand called Custom Made. Custom Made is now sold on ASOS, which which I find like dilutes a brand. So there's a brand called Sister Jane, right? Sister Jane's very expensive and they stock it in Harvey Nichols. They make poofy dresses. And Sorry, it's... go back, go back, roll it back. You know what I'm going to ask. What? What, what kind of dresses? Poofy. Yeah, cool. Anyway, uh, very expensive. And then they started selling them on ASOS. So in correlation with our brain cells, we think it's on ASOS, it's cheap. So for me, just uh, to be mugging off uh, larger sizes with large bright colours and florals, this is size 26 sea salt top. No, but this is... Okay, so this is... <laughs> yeah, but it has a style. It has a style aesthetic. This it is does. from a brand. This is from Sea Salt. It's a size 26, which will sell very quickly. But it matches their brand. There's nothing not like their brand no, in it. What does you're saying is if you like Sea Salt, right, and you're a size 12... It's inclusive. 12, bear with me a second. It's inclusive. Hold up. It's the remix. If, if you're buying a size 12 or you're buying a size 26, that top is the same. Yes. Because that's, that's their style. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I'm with you. And then, the, but there's some... Anyway, don't worry. We, we won't talk about it now. We won't talk about it here. Anyway, oh, um, And I'm the random one. Stop so with the randomness. So that sea salt should go for 30. Uh, the kin trousers should go for 35. Speaking of sea... 
This, I picked this up. Right, I tell you why I picked it up. I really wanted this important. You're mental, that's why. It's four pound, but it, it's Old Spice, and I really have a thing for. If anyone doesn't know, old things. No, I have a thing for like, um, not Americana. <sighs> what's the word? No, it's like. <laughs> masculine things I don't know what it is the, what's the oh. term like western sailors you know like proper like anyway man things yeah anyway it was really chunky and I thought it was a mug and it had ridges inside and Austin informed me because he is a man he knows stuff um, it's, it's a shaving cup it's to, it's to knock off your razor or your brush depending on what you're putting in there anyway so I I looked it up like I, old school kind of shaving I google lensed it and they actually go for £40 pounds. Well, I didn't see that coming. I can't lie to you. I also found some Lego in the shop, or a Stuplo, but I thought I'd done a really good thing and I was channeling my you, inner... Like, that top bit there was, like, sealed, which looked really they cool. They opened the side. And then they did just the old side anyway, around me. It was two ninety nine, but I'm not messing with that. It was like nineteen ninety seven. If it was sealed, I would have, because I would have just taken a picture of the box and left it. For any toy people out there, or like Lego guys or buffs or whatever, not that we come across a lot, and not that I'm necessarily going to pick it up. But I just want to know. I'm guessing the uh, Lego has a lot more value than Duplo when it comes well, to older sets. I would guess. Duplo is like chunky for small, tiny hands. Yeah. Like toddler hands. But the, the, yeah, Lego is better because the I, adults I, I, have play with it and yeah, stuff. I was just going to say, I guess the age range that can play with Lego is a lot vaster well, than it would if you play with Duplo. It would probably be better for you, you. <laughs> in your small mind. What a mutant you are. Anyway, Austin found these uh, trainers and became obsessed with them for a good hour. No. Um, he, it was at least 59 minutes. 12.99. However, Austin was fascinated with them. They Austin are. Austin is here. Austin was fascinated with them because of the Tiffany Blue reference. The Tiffany Blue. Tiffany Blue is that turquoise colour. Tiffany and Co jewellery firm have just released a shoe with Nike is it an Air Force One? it is an Air Force One they've done multiple shoes actually in my opinion but you know it all so you carry on my dear in my opinion they're fugly I've got a real problem with triple black shoes and they, they are not a triple black because they've got a t Tiffany tick on them however go. they still do look like school shoes you know, I don't know why I bother. Yeah, okay, they look like school shoes. However, Austin thinks there's going to be a direct correlation with the colour Tiffany no. blue and the trainer trends mm. of 2023. No, Bethany is incorrect. Austin knows that due to the fact that Tiffany has been all over the uh, uh, social media with anything from collaborations from the, lux the luxury watch world to uh, sneakers. And I'm not just talking about official collaborations. I'm talking uh, uh, like anything which is that kind of colour. It stemmed from that. Um, so I just wanted to pass on the information. But Bethany, once again, feels it necessary to make me feel so small and so inadequate. I found a the Sahara human. top. New it's horrible. Go away. New that, that, that's, that's what I'm saying to you there. Go new away. New label Sahara. I, I, don't, I don't want your Sahara. Can I talk about the Sahara? No, I hate it. A hun I don't <laughs> care. A Sahara, a new label, seven ninety nine. but I thought it was a little bit too jazzy. I like a bit more utility lager look And that is Sahara. old label, me and them. And I still bought it, even though it's old label, because it has like a fisherman's smock. I quite like the style. It. Yeah. It's a bit toasty, I thought. Um, I never sold the old label, so if anyone has any experience with the old label, Label, then knock me down below in the comments. I, I find it interesting sometimes with the labels. I know for some, maybe some people, maybe you don't know what we're talking about. It's as obvious as it sounds, old labels and new labels. Like if they if they've if they've recently changed it or they changed it many moons ago. Obviously, styles might be different. But if they've recently changed it and the styles very like cars is a great example. I don't think that's the style aesthetic wise is like what how they it do is now? new label. That's it's what I was going to say. Very contemporary now. It's really having a moment. Pick up me and then whenever you see it, as long as it's for a good price. Actually, you can pay up on it because it just it's just going for a while. So what I'm numbers. saying is, usually it it not so much dictates it by the label, but it's because a label is older and it's been around for a lot longer. The style will probably be less um, desirable. Desirable right now. Yeah. That's why I say cars which changed quite recently than last Same year or with so. Mint Velvet labels. Is more popular still. Cars. Yeah, okay. Cars has always had sort of a similar train of thought, though. That's the only thing I. Their aesthetic's been very similar. Yeah. Yeah. This was a modern rarity um, cardigan. I do like picking up modern rarity John Lewis brand. Uh, eight ninety nine, but I thought this looked a bit um, like a dressing gown. Yeah, it's not just that. It look, I, I know it wasn't, but it looks very boiled. You know, him uh, boiled. No, you don't boil. You look, what I mean, you look boiled. I really do. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of this video, I looked boiled to the point of like I don't even want you to call it. Anyway, what I'm saying is, it looks like that. You know, when um when things are shrunk and they get tight and the knit yeah. gets kind of a bit just a, I do yeah it looks like that this is a toast jacket it was way too expensive no it was £20 which isn't too bad it, it also looked like mint velvet made it which turns yeah, me off that I have to say it wasn't very toasty toast but then I was thinking about it when I was editing this thinking if you had done, done the zip would it have turned into a biker 
Possibly. Yeah, it would have. But you know, my, my, my one thing I did Which like... Which still isn't very toast. No, it's not toast at all. Once again, mommy and velvet. What I did like, I must say, though, is that gold zip was like a brass gold. Yes. Like a really kind of like deep I'll gold. I'll let them know how you feel about their hardware. Yeah, well, it's just that specific jacket. To be honest, I would have picked it up if it was cheaper, but to put £20 into a untoasty toast number... You're just um, tied in a duck's backside, yeah? No, I am a conscious of my spending in an economic downturn God, that was impressive. Thank you. I'm not, but I, I um, <laughs> You don't I, want that you don't want to buy that? <laughs> no, it's do you know what? When I I get in this mood when it's a bit like slower on terms of the sauce in front, I'm just like I get more picky, which is wrong because uh, yeah. you should get less picky, no, but I get no, more I, picky. I, I actually agree with you though. I actually agree with you because once again, I feel like some people are forced when they have a like a, a bum picking day. Yeah. Bum picking day. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> anyway, like a, Austin found some bad watches. Day. Oh my gosh, she's gone fast. Austin found some watches. Be- Bethany I... sped this up and not told me, I... so I look like I'm on some kind of um. Well, I had to do it because Austin spent an hour doing this. Um, <laughs> uh, and you can you imagine? Oh, I looked at everything in the shop. I even looked at welly boots. Honestly, do you know the best thing is what I love to do is I'll pick all these up right because I'm I'm trying to move them out the way and rather than put them down, I'll hold them so Bethany thinks, oh my. What is he doing now? And she thinks I'm going to keep those, but I'm just I'm just messing. I'm just joshing with the guys. So I just really like to hold as many as I possibly can, just to mess with Bethany. On the base, I'm not actually going to buy those. So what are you actually looking for out of interest? Uh, high quality, uh, expensive, and uh, well, but do you look for hardware. Watches. Do you look for names? Do you look for straps? Do you look for <laughs> the, the, weight? To be honest, yeah, I, actually, all above, all the okay. above. Good question. Right. Um, no, but you say that like if you if you held most of those watches in your hand, you wouldn't even if you closed your eyes, you'd guess most of them were just. Cheap. I like to imagine you have one of those like eye glasses, and you're like, yeah, and you're like, looking at names like closely. What, 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 why, what are you going to talk about? This was this was the only watch I actually bought. Um, I he don't doesn't if... show it for a while, so don't get too excited. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't that great when I do show it. However, um, to be honest, I, I've been I've been trying to pick up more and more of these because I I, I just for so long I've ignored them. This is kind of cool. Uh, I actually have one of those as well, don't I? Yeah. It, it's um, a promotional Renault um, watch. And I think that's, that was a Citroen, which is so random. Both French car makes from the same era. Either way. Um, so... Oh. I left this in. No, I left this in. I tell you for why, because he's looking at me like, why you leave this in? Because I was showing... Look, how clever is that? Look, that fun. No, I wasn't going to say that at all. Oh, right. I was going to say I can't see the bloody watch. I got my phone in my no, hand. No, that's your fault. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, you know what? I, sometimes I get annoyed. It's not just at you. Sometimes at myself. Most of the time, you should. So, what be is this you. watch that you have just Google lensed for us? It's a Timex. It's actually from the seventies. Um, it's got it's got domed uh, glass, which is actually really rare. Um, there's one of the most famous um domed uh, gla- uh kind of I guess what would you call it domed glass watches is co- is uh, from a company called Comex. And they make a Rolex with Comex. Um, I don't actually think they produce them anymore, but they were really kind of dome shape, and they were really cool. Anyway, this is like a, it's, it's not it's not particularly like that watch, but I'm saying the actual that glass itself is kind of rounded as opposed to flat. Uh, anyway, the the numbers and the kind of typeface are um, what do you, what do you call that? Like the seventies kind of style. I call it like atomic numbers. Yes, like, you're it's right. Like got that like um, exactly that. It's got that look, you know, like the Spudnik, you know, that vibe. You yeah. know, that's sixties, really, isn't it? 60s, 70s, yeah, yeah it, it, it is. It comes it is. into all um, But it's a mechanical watch, once again. Um, the, what does mechanical watch mean for the people? Because I, I don't know. It means a watch anything. you can wind, or it means it basically it kind of you just need a battery to be operated. And because we were running. in a chair shop the other day, and the lady behind the counter didn't know the difference between that and an automatic watch. What do you mean a mechanical? Uh, yeah, she, a, she 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 uh, that lady for all watches had to be wound. Yeah, I I think I just think people have different different ways of looking at stuff, um, but e- either way, um, and maybe they just don't know. Which is experience. This this, isn't this, it? this strap, I don't think this strap isn't original to the watch. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can sell for a lot of watches as well. If you ever find something which is remotely nice or you think would be remotely nice and would sell, you obviously you can take the strap off and you can sell what they ho- what they call just the head, which is literally the head of the watch without a strap. So if you can imagine taking the straps off a watch yeah. or a bracelet off a watch, that's what they call it, is a head. If you get adult size in these Crocs, they're like, they go for really good money, these are kids' ones. Yeah, they okay, do carry on. Um, no, that's, that's it. What I was going to say, so um, this is not, once again, it's not hundreds of pounds or anything. I, I would guess probably about between 70 and 100 probably for this watch um, I think it was £2 in the end which is quite a good return right yes it is and then as we were leaving the shop I had a very traumatic experience not Savage. the most flattering shop but I'll leave it in anyway look at these guys 
Oh. Boy. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> <laughs> it was my uh it was my two steps. It was a shuffle, shuffle for me. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was gonna get my camera and take a cute picture for Instagram and they attacked me viciously. See, it's always the little ones you need to watch. Honestly, it was, I, I was quite alarmed. Anyway, that was our day in Wellington, filled with trauma, watches and Austin. general madness. Bye.